Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, good morning, firstly, and we're going to do a daily reading today and possibly an evening one tonight. Um, I wanted to promise some more fun-filled readings. I know last week was a little bit weird because there was a lot of different signs thrown into the channel. Uh, this coming week, I'm going to focus more on Libra, and I will be posting a lot more. So if you don't mind, the feed's going to change up. Come in and like and share. If you guys want to subscribe, I would deeply appreciate that because it does help out the channel and I can produce more content for you. So today I was channeled Lotus. I was channeled Free Roaming. And I also have a song for you. And this Jennifer Lopez, If You Had My Love, which was released sometime in the early 2000s, I believe. And if you meditate on Jennifer Lopez, she's, she's not a Libra, she's a Leo. But I feel like that's like the energy you're stepping into the new week in. Um, you could be going into the 28th of March and the following days as somewhat of like the strength card of Leo. I see lion energy. I also see something in Africa, if that resonates with you in any way. And um, if you know any Leo friends, maybe try to embody their energy. Very, very strong people. They don't let a lot get them down. And um, they're always basically the center of attention. Um, Leos are also really humble about it too. Like they're not um, in your face about that. So we're going to get messages from your ancestors this morning. And we're also going to do your regular reading for this morning and the energies for the weekend. So let's get started. Messages from the ancestors. Go ahead and come on in. Everybody is welcome and your energy is always fluid here and understood. For Libra, messages from their ancestors, please. Messages from their ancestors. We're going to take three today just because I'm feeling like you need the messages and um, the clarity as well. A lot of Librans right now are going through major shifts in their life. Um, they're either moving forward not dwelling anymore and there's a lot of um, kind of the past energy seeping back in. I get like the past is influencing how you want to change. So let's get those messages clearly from your guides. I get the first top three so I'm going to do that and let's go. We have teeth. Cancer got this too this week. It says take a bite out of life. We have bridge. It's a beautiful card of like, um, I get like a desert oasis because there's lots of like mountains that are kind of formed in a funny way. They're kind of all caressing upward. And I'll read that to you. It says, stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. This could be family. This could also be friends. This could be something that you've forgotten. Um, it's basically saying that you might be the bridge for everybody else. It could also mean that you're kind of the peak of the answer. Um, maybe you want to go inward and do a little shadow work too to find out why you appear to be the bridge to others or you even feel that you could be. And the last card from your ancestors is school. It's a beautiful card. This is one of like my favorite from this deck because it looks very graffiti, very airbrushed. The sun is there, the moon is there, and there's kind of like a archaic man with a sword, which is also Libra's energy, the sword. It says, examine your beliefs because they're about to be tested. And some of you might feel like you are about to be tested, which is completely fine as long as you go into it with caution. Okay, so those are the messages from your ancestors. Let's get an oracle from the wisdom deck. Oracle for Libra this morning, oracle for Libra. Three more shuffles. One, two, three, and we'll go with top of the deck. It's bringing clear to me. Scribe or writer. A lot of Librans are really good at poetry, writing, writing short stories. If you're a writer, you know what this card means personally to you. Um, when you scribe, it's like you write it on paper and it is a manifestation or a wish of yours. You might be wanting to do that because the more you see how much you are visualizing your future, and Librans, Aquarius, and Geminis are visionaries. They really, really see things before they happen, very intuitive. Um, if you write it, 
you could possibly be seeing something that in the past you had been kind of missing the mark on. So if I were you, maybe writing this weekend or sharing your short stories, things you've written already, or poetry could be really meaningful for you. And also I'm getting like musician Libras, those who write lyrics and poetry. Okay, so let's move on to your regular spread. I'm excited about this because I've been watching some readings lately um, that don't really resonate. Like I've been watching a lot of Libra ones just to see if I feel like I relate and they haven't been hitting as hard. I feel like my moon in Cancer has been more accurate. So sometimes you wanna check out your moon rising, your Venus, see if those placements resonate because sometimes the Libra ones won't. And um, that's something really important. I think people need to be reminded of that, that you could be more influenced by your moon and rising and your Venus at other times. So, whoa, okay, whoa. We'll, we'll keep those because they all dropped out. Um, let's get three more from Light Seers for Libra this morning, March 26th, March 26th, Saturday for Libra. What is the essence surrounding them? Positivity, enlightenment, and love, please. Positivity, enlightenment, and love for Libra. Let's go with the last three. Bottom of the deck. On the split, we have the Eight of Swords. So this could be something that you're coming privy to or being aware by, by lifting the blindfold. So that's to start. I'm just gonna move these out of the way so that you could clearly see what's going on here. For your spread today, we have a total of seven. Okay, I'm gonna tell them to you. Six of Swords here, three of Pentacles, seven of Swords, four of Wands, Strength, Leo, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. There's a lot of swords here to start. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the end today just because I feel like working backward might be effective. We have the Knight of Swords here. This could be you. Uh, this is Libra and energy. You could be feeling like you're running off and wanting an escape. The other day I was meditating on this energy too. Uh, not the Knight of Swords, but just the week. And I got like this word, the great escape or phrase. You might be thinking that it's time to really run off with your positive thoughts, or it could be something positive in your life that you want to protect. The Knight of Swords is always, I get that there is deception around you, but there's also clarity on that deception. Okay, so take that how it resonates. The next is the Seven of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be a lot in your feelings. You could be sitting in your feelings quite a bit. And you also could be meditating even on the sadness. I find that when even when I meditate on like my really sad days, I find that we are truly in our Queen or King of Cups energy because we're in contemplation. We wanna know the why, right? And I think this is more clarification for Libras who've been in this emotional energy and emotional state. So maybe diarying, and like I said, the scribing card that we had, you might wanna write down those feelings and then go off somewhere, maybe go drive, maybe get yourself an ice cream and just sit and think, how can I best improve, right? How could I point this to my success? Because sometimes it's just reevaluation, simple, right? We have the strength card of Leo here. This is for, I'm getting like a Libra female who's been having a tough time or even like a tough um, few weeks. You might want to tap into, like I said, listen to the song by J-Lo, who's a Leo, or listen to any of her songs, really. Um, you could be wanting to change up your look. I'm also getting a, here a Libra that wants to change the style of dress, okay? Maybe to turn into the Empress. So we don't have the Empress here today but maybe you're kind of wishing and hoping for that. And this strength card, maybe of a makeover, will help you get there and help you uh, revive sort of where you've been, if that makes any sense to you. Okay, so everything's about rebirth and revival in this chapter. We have the Four of Wands here. You could have an unlikely invitation. I do see friends coming at you fast, sending messages, sending things over the airwaves, but it's fast. 
and it is all projecting maybe toward a weekend like catch up time or just meeting up with people you haven't seen in a really long time or even family. I'm getting like cousins, um, best friends that you haven't touched on in a while. So the Four of Wands is that. It's that meeting of like-minded people in your tribe. Okay. Seven of Swords here. More deception. Uh, there might be something going on around you right now. This is like what I call the gossip and stalking card, which it really is. Um, Seven of Swords is things going on around you that you're unaware of. Maybe things you're not privy to or enlightened to yet. This doesn't even have to be in the form of a person. This just could be atmospheric things going on right now. And um, I sense there's a Libra here that's a little bit worried in this energy that they're being kind of looked at online or they're being gossiped about. And just be careful because these energies, I mean, they're here. They're here for a reason to warn you. Um, this person could also want something from you. I'm getting maybe information, um, possibly getting together with you. If this is like someone who's had a crush on you for a while, just be careful of this energy because sometimes people don't have the best intentions. Okay. Three of Pentacles. We have the work and partnership card here. Three of Pentacles are the coming together of minds that want to work toward a common vision or they could just be helping you, Libra. So you might want to get, get together with this Four of Wands card here and discuss business partnerships if you don't have a partner yet and you have an idea that's coming. Please know that this is a positive part of your deck today. It is a positive message that with partnerships you can thrive and become a better person and a, a better business person if you, if you deem to do that. Six of Swords here is final healing after a tough chapter. As you can see here, the crows or birds are driving the boat and she's sort of letting go wistfully um, in that red scarf. Okay, I can relate to this card just because I went through a tough chapter kind of in the fall. Uh, I came out of it stronger, thankfully. And I think this is you right now. I think you are stepping into positive elements like the people that are going to be coming at you. Sorry. And I also think that it's bringing you the strength that showed up today. Okay, now let's get some more cards. Let's get some more messages. I'm going to use the Egyptian deck again. And we'll get three more cards to close out this reading, hopefully at 14 minutes. But I'll have like a whole bunch of little specials this weekend. I'm going to do my spiritual journey story if you guys are interested, how I got into reading cards and how I got, how I implemented that into my own personal beliefs and my family beliefs. Because I feel like if you have a good melting pot of that, everybody will be happy. That's been happening a lot to me lately. Like the cards will just spill. Maybe uh, maybe today's message is supposed to be like a one of every kind type of thing. I know when that happens, it's like spirits trying to tell you to rest, relax, and just kind of restock. I love that word restock because... It happens in the stores and it happens in our life. Messages for Libra. Three cards. On the split, we have communal living. So this could be like living with others but living in harmony. Libras are all about harmony and balance. So this could be something in your life right now as well. Okay. More messages for Libra. From the Oracle. More messages, please. Let's go. Last two. We have karmic relationship. We've been getting this card a lot. Karmic and love life. I think you're thinking a lot about your place. Um, if you're in a relationship or if you're not, I think you're thinking about how you want to get out of old cycles. And also, I think your love life has been peeking out at you as you want something with eternal longevity. Libras are loyal uh, in relationships. They're very tied to their partner. They're very romantic in nature. Um, Librans are also, if you look at the skills, even in love, they have to balance it out. So I think that this has been heavily on someone's mind right now, but I want to get a clarification card on that. So we'll do this old deck. I forgot what it's called. If you guys recognize these cards too, um, I got this a while ago on eBay but I just forgot the name of this deck. 
clarify Libra's love life with the Oracle. Archangel Michael, please clarify the love life card in the Oracle. Just came out. Justice. There were two, but this one was at the top. This is our card, Libra's card, which is ironic, that justice is something that you might be seeking with your love life. Maybe coming to an engagement or finally solidifying it with marriage. Or this could be just putting a promise ring on it or whatever. Also with the justice card, I feel like Libra, you have been wanting this for so, so long. You just want to receive your version of justice, whether that be a commitment or whether that be parting ways because you're finally coming to conclusion it might be over, okay? That closes out the reading today. There's going to be so many videos for different signs today. Please recommend to your friends. I'll be posting Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. I'll do Taurus next week. I hope you guys have a fabulous morning. Namaste. I hope all of you have a great, great weekend. And just take care of yourselves. Remember, embody that Leo energy. It's going to come in handy.